morning students welcome back to class so in the last video we have completed our exercise 2.1 and 2.2 so today in this video we are going to learn successor and predecessor comparison of numbers ascending and descending order okay so now i request everyone to open your textbook page number 96 Hope you all are ready. So whenever I am ready, I request everyone to place your finger. So our first topic is successor and predecessor. You are very well known with what is successor and predecessor, but you don't know why we have given this names. So in your pre previous grade, you have already learned between after and was uh, after it. Or after numbers you can write before and between. Right? When uh, you have done, you might have done with us very small digits like fifty uh, one. After fifty one, what we we'll get? After fifty one, we we'll get fifty. Two. This numbers writing this numbers is our successor. We call it as successor. What is the definition of successor? The number that comes after it. Now I have taken the number fifty one. What is the number after fifty one? Fifty two. So fifty two is the successor of fifty one. So you have done with the very small digits, right? Now as our chapter name is large numbers, we'll go with some large numbers. Now suppose if we take five digit number. Now this is what seventeen thousand five hundred and twenty two, right? I asked you now write the successor for seventeen thousand five hundred and twenty two. Simply if you add plus one. Now you know this is very big number. As these are very small digit, you can easily write. But when it comes to very large numbers, you write plus one. You just do it plus one. So we will write in columns first. Seventeen thousand five hundred and twenty-two plus one. Always remember one will write in one space. Never write one here or anywhere. Okay. So now two plus one, three. Is there any number below here? No. So we will write the same number. Two, five, seven, one. What is successor of seventeen thousand five hundred and twenty-two? It is. Seventeen thousand five hundred and twenty-three. So, what is the successor? Now, very clear. Successor means we will add plus one. Successor means we will add plus one. Successor means for the given number we will add one. Or the exact definition is the number that. Comes after it. After it, whatever the given number they will give, we will add one to it and then we will write the answer. The same way, see, they have given seventeen thousand five hundred twenty-two. We have added one, we got the result. So this is what successor of seventeen thousand five hundred twenty-two. So successor means plus one. What we will do? We will add one. Now what is predecessor? P P R E D E S S O R predecessor. What is predecessor? We have just said this is after number means this is before number. Before it, the number that comes before it. Now, if you take example forty-eight, what is the number that comes before forty-eight? It is forty-seven, right? But now we will take some large number and we will find what is the predecessor. Now, if you see forty-eight, this is forty-seven. What here we have done here? We have done minus one, right? If you see here, forty-eight minus one, eight minus one, seven. Here yeah, four. How much forty seven? We got the answer forty seven. So what we have done predecessor means minus 
1. Similarly, if you take a large number, like, okay, let us take 529. What is the predecessor of 529? What we will do? We will do minus 1. So, 9 minus 1, 8. Is there any number other here? No. So, we will write 2 and 5. So, what is the predecessor of 529? 29 it is 528. So, 528 will come before 529. Right? So, what is the predecessor? Now, what is predecessor? What we will do here? We will do minus 1. From the given number, we will subtract 1. That is what? Predecessor. So, what is the definition here? The number that comes before it. Before it. That you call as predecessor. So, in some, when they ask you to find the successor of the given digit, you will add 1. If they ask you to find predecessor, you will subtract what from the given number. This is what successor and predecessor. Right? I think it is very clear students. So now let us move to our next topic. What is our next topic? Right. It's comparison of numbers. Now I request you to see page number 97. Comparison of Numbers Now what is comparison of numbers? We have already done comparison of numbers means greater than, less than, equal to This is what we will do but with large numbers Now what is the easiest way? Number, see here what they have given Number with different number of digits So first uh, suppose they have given a 5 digit Some 2 numbers 996 and okay now they have given us two numbers now we have to compare which is the greatest and which is the smallest simply you check how many digits are there okay see here how many are there 1 2 3 4 5 how many digits this is 5 digit number okay now let us count here 1 2 3 4 how many Four digit number. If any number is having more number of digit, then that number is greater. See, five digit number is greater than four digit number. So, we will place the symbol greater than. See, both these symbols are the same, greater and less than. Simply, what is the real logic is, now if you see this, this is an open mouth. Right? It's like an open mouth. So, this shows you the greatest number. What it shows? Greatest number. And the end point, this shows you the smallest number. Now see, the end point, this open mouth is uh, denoting you the greatest number. 5 digit is the greatest number. So now open mouth is showing us this is greatest. And the end point is showing us this is the smallest number. So, now this is what the case when there are different number of digits. Here there are 5 digits, here there are only 4. Now we can easily we have done it. Now supposingly if they gave same number of digits. Here also they gave 4. Okay. 996. Like Now see there are 3 digits. 1, 2, 3. Here 1, 2, 3. The here also 3 digits and in this number also there are 3 digits. Now both are same. What condition we have seen? If there, uh, a number is having more number of digits, that number is the greatest. But here there are same number of digits. Now how to check which is the greatest one? So first thing, what we will do? 996 and this is 987. Right? First step is to start from the left side. We will check both starting first digits will compare. See here it is how much 9? Here 9. What we will do? We will compare. Now 9 is equal to 9. Right? So there is no less or greater thing. So what we will do? We will move it next one. See here 9 here it is 8. 9, 8. 
is 9 greater or less than 8? 9 is greater than 8. So 996 is greater than 987. Supposedly if here also it is equal, so we will move with the next digit. Okay. First we will start with first digit. We will compare first digit from both the numbers. If they are same, we will go with next digit. If those are also same, we will move to the next digit. Then we will compare and we will write which is the greatest among both of them. Now here 996, 987. We have seen that 10 space 9 is greater than 8. So 996 is greater than 987. This is what comparison of numbers. When the digits are same, equal number of digits are given, how to compare? If they are given different number of digits, how to compare? This is what the comparison of numbers. Supposingly they have given same, like 10, here is also 10. As both are the same, we will write symbol equal to, n is equal to 10. Or 100 is equal to 100. Greater than, less than, equal. Correct? Now this is the easiest way. I hope it is very clear how to write greater than and less than. Okay? Now what is our next concept? Our next concept is ascending and descending order. What it is? Ascending and descending order. Ascending. Let us see what is first ascending order. Now if they give you a series of number, one set of number. Now how to find, how to write them in ascending order. Ascending order means writing small to big. Let us take a very small example first. If I give you like 10, 9, 11, 15, 4. Now this is the series, a set of number. Now they have told you write the given number in ascending order. Now what is ascending order? Small to big. Smallest to the greatest number. Now among these 5 numbers, which is the smallest one? It is 4. Right? So what we will do? We will write first 4. Then after 4, see? Here it is 10, 9, 11, 15. So among these 4, which is the next smallest one? 9. We will write 9. Then after 9, it's 10. Then what are the only 2 left? 11 and 15. Then it is less than 15. So next is 11 and 15. This is the order we call it as ascending order. That is running from small to big. Right? This is a series or set of number where we have written from small to big. Right? You can also write, do this like your family members. Who is the smallest one? Maybe your younger brother or younger sister to your grandmother. That is what our ascending model writing from smallest to biggest or small to greatest among the numbers. Now if they give you a big number, large number, Clear how I write? 
ascending order means writing from small to big. That is from smallest to the greatest. I hope this is very clear. Now let us move with the descending order. Now let us see what is descending order. Now we have done ascending order. Ascending order means small to big. Now descending order means we will write reverse that is big to small. Big to small. Let us take an example. Example. Now just now we have taken example. Let us take it. That is uh, 529. 